Barclay Center, live. I'm with Frederick Hawthorne. Y'all make sure y'all support Silent Heroes. Follow him on Instagram. Y'all make sure Barbershop Conversations. Yeah. Make sure y'all subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> That's what everybody tell me. Hit the subscribe hit button. The subscribe everybody call button. me that. Yeah. You know, his son, he loved Bruno Mars. Uh, make sure y'all go support him when he's like 20 years old. Make sure y'all buy those tickets, man. Uh -huh. And we out. Uh, that's all you got to say. <laughs> that's it, man. I, I appreciate your support. So, how you like the fights tonight? Oh, man, this is a stacked card. You know, um, I feel the first thing. The thing I love about Adrian Broner's card is that it brings out a diverse crowd. Because mm -hmm. I've been here for Amir Khan's crowd, mm -hmm. and I've been here for um, Thurman versus uh, Garcia. Mm -hmm. And AB brings out a very diverse crowd. And I feel like AB, he has a, it's a 50 50 fight. Mm -hmm. He has a chance to, uh, if he puts out 400 punches or more, he's definitely winning the fight, regardless. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if he doesn't let his hands go, he's going to be easy. Mm -hmm. Tank, Tank fifth round knockout. And I feel like Charlo. Give or take, he's definitely gonna give a knockout. But I feel like AB is the draw, and he's a draw for a reason. You can see it in the, if you're in the Barclays Center right now, you feel the energy, and you can see it outside of Brooklyn. There's a reason why he's the main event. Uh -huh. So I feel like, yeah, he's, he's definitely gonna put on the show. So you gotta pick a winner, man. You didn't pick a winner. You just said, if this happens, <gasps> if that happens. You already know what I'm going with it. <laughs> Every, you, you love this word, everything's pragmatic. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> man. Listen. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. I don't even got a beer. This is oh, a big beer. Ah, man. Ah, man. I got to go with Vargas. Vargas. I can't bet no money on it. Really? I don't know. I don't know. I, they're saying all the right things. Kevin Hunter, can you come ahead? He's been saying all the right things, but I, I don't trust him. I don't trust him. So I'm going to go with Vargas. I'm taking the same bet. I want him to win, though. I know you want him to win, too. Yeah, uh-huh. But I'm not going to I don't think he's going to win. I, you know, I, if it goes 12 I, uh -huh. and he puts out 400-plus punches, he's winning. You think 400 is a barometer, not 500? 400, 400 has to be the punch. Mm -hmm. But if he doesn't hit that 400 plateau and he just sits here with that, that shell that he usually puts up. That's close to 30 punches around. Yeah, I think he could. I think he could. With 30 punches around? 30 punches around. Not 40? No, I think 30 punches around. Because the thing is, he has good reaction time. He has good uh -huh. reflexes. Uh -huh. So I think that if he pops Vargas, catches him with a check while he's coming in, uh -huh. he could definitely slow Vargas down, and Vargas would be so uh, so uh, eager to come in uh -huh. once the AB hits him. And he has no power. Like you said, Vargas does a little bit of everything they good, that, yeah. but he doesn't do anything great. He boxes though, man. Like he does. he's very consistent at what he does. Mm -hmm. I think he's gonna throw six, seven hundred punches, man, and just keep Brona busy and make it an easy fight. I but think. there's one thing that I think that you would agree with me on. He's not knocking AB out. No, I don't. So, I so, that's another thing. AB will be in the fight for the duration. You know, you know the one thing I do fear is that. Uh, if Adrian Brown is down on the car, he believes he's down, I think he might do something like just outlandish. Something like ridiculous. You know what I mean? I, I, in terms of what? Like, I don't know. Like, intentional foul. Not Mike Tyson bite the ear, but... That's what I was thinking too. You know what I mean? Just something ridiculous. He might he might overreact to his corner. <laughs> on on some like Madonna tip, like when... Remember when um, he got knocked down that round and came back to the corner? He was like, oh, chill out. I got this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah, something like that. Maybe even worse, you know? The point, I just don't trust him, man. I, I, that's why I wouldn't bet anybody. Yeah, I, I, wouldn't bet a, I wouldn't bet an Ethiopian penny on him. <laughs> uh -huh. To be honest, uh -huh. it's worth nothing. So uh -huh. I just wouldn't, I wouldn't bet anything. Uh -huh. I don't think he's... he's say, like I said, they're saying all the right things. Uh -huh. He looks great. He's confident. And he's talking all the trust. But that's what AB does. I just don't think he's going to win. I want him to. Uh -huh. Last time I bet, I was here for the Mikey Garcia. Fight. You bet on Broner? Hell no, I didn't. Oh, okay. Okay. Bro, okay. I would do. I was cheering for him. Uh -huh. Sure, sure, sure. And sure. after the second, and uh, usually when he comes to fights, I can tell after the second round uh -huh. if he's gonna fight, he's gonna win or lose. I knew he was gonna lose that fight wow. after the second round. He was gonna lose that fight. Well, we'll see, man. We're, like, we're a couple hours away. We're yeah, hey, the Hardy's about to step in the ring, man. I genuinely appreciate your support, man. Yeah, I, I, I see your name in the comment section quite yeah, often, man. And I told myself this one thing. I wanted to tell you this. When I first uh, subscribed to your channel, it was like a week before the run fight. I can't remember who fought before it, but you had like a live chat. Uh-huh. And after the Brona fight, you talked about accountability. Uh-huh. 
and I saw myself when you were speaking about Bruno. Really? I saw myself when you were speaking really? about Bruno. Really? Wow. And after that, it changed my whole life. And really? I started taking responsibility for everything. Talk about it because, because you know, this is our demographic. This is Me us. And Adrian Bruno. Adrian Bruno is a year older than me. 27 years old. I'll be 28 next month. Mm -hmm. And when you spoke about accountability and you spoke about taking responsibility for things that you do and not blaming other people, I took a step back and I said, wow, like, what, what Fred just said right now, that speaks to me because I was a kid who grew up with both parents and, you know, I had mommy to fall on, dad to fall on. And I said, if Adrian Broner could do that, if I had money at the age that Adrian Broner was making money at, I'd be acting, I'd be acting niggerish the same way he was. And I said, you know what? Fred's right, you know, and I can use Fred as an example, mm -hmm. and I can take that, and that's what I like about you, because, to be honest, you're an OG, like, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> that, that's the, that's the yeah. God on the street, okay, you're I would it. I would it. you don't gotta be a thug, you don't gotta be against you, you don't gotta be a pimp, you don't uh -huh. have to be doing anything, mm -hmm. you live a positive life, mm -hmm. and you're setting a great example Thank for everyone you. out here, that's the reason why I watch you, I don't want to throw shades at any other team, no, sure, and you ask hard questions, and you cut from the straight cut right to the point, you hold people accountable, Regardless, mm -hmm. I see that the fight is respectful, mm -hmm. so that's why I was subscribed to your channel. After that, I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna watch this guy's videos every single day." Damn, thank you, every dog. Every single day. Uh huh. Every single day. When you go to the gym, uh -huh. if I'm not at work, uh huh. Not, there was snow days. Uh -huh. I was like, "Yo, friend out here working." Yeah. I want a friend. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I look up to you, but you still my competition. <laughs> Yo, compete, so, compete, that's compete. All it is. That's I, I, I'm a firm. We live in a capitalist society and people get, you can't get intimidated by competing. Listen, so people out here, so people uh -huh. don't survive. So people like you and I, we wolves out here. Wolves. Well, the only people that eat out here are lions and wolves. Yeah. I'm not a deer. Uh -huh. so, yeah. so the only thing I'm trying to do is eat. That's it. AB mm -hmm. tonight, he better go out there and try to eat because Jesse Vargas is definitely going to try to eat. Jesse Vargas is confident. He's poised. Jesse Vargas is looking at this guy like he's a meal ticket. I can't believe Boom. He's a meal ticket. A meal ticket. Jesse Vargas is thinking if I beat this guy, I get firm and I get spent. I get con. I can get con in Europe and get Europe. Everything. He's looking at all the big names. AB. AB wins this fight. He still has to beat Sean Porter. He can't beat my Who else can he? still has to beat Mikey. And then it's like, can he beat any of the top contenders? We know he's not fighting Spence. So is he's really at a crossroads. So what can he do after this? We don't know. I feel like he's gonna call out Floyd, and Floyd's not gonna answer. <laughs> Floyd to be here tonight. Yeah. I, I, Is he gonna be here? I heard Floyd to be here. You know what I mean? So we'll see. He said he expected to be here. You'll know the crowd going. Well, oh, you go hear that. You go hear that. I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to sound like a homo now. But I might faint at Floyd. <laughs> Are you a Floyd fan? Oh, of course. Uh -huh. Of course. Floyd's I'm a person. big Floyd fan. Floyd, Floyd's the person that got me. Uh, he like got me back into boxing. I'm a big basketball fan. Me, me too. I'm yeah, the same way. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I was a big Mike Tyson fan. I was Roy Jones. Or Roy Jones was oh, like that I've for me. I've never seen Roy Jones oh, fight. Roy Jones live, besides Bihar, when he fought Bihar the second time. Yeah, he was old. That was though, the, but yeah, it was. Yeah. I never seen Roy Jones fight. Mm -hmm. I used to watch. I've watched Tyson hold for one and two, mm -hmm. and I love boxing ever since then. But I never watched fight. Floyd versus um, Sugar Ray uh -huh. was a fight where I was like, wow, I have to watch everything uh -huh. this guy does. Uh -huh. And he reminded me, like I said, he reminded me of myself at the time. I was like 14, 15 years uh -huh. old. And the guy just reminded me of myself. Uh -huh. I was like, damn, like, this guy's amazing. He lives the greatest lifestyle. Uh -huh. And I had, to, I had to watch everything. Everything that he does, I had to watch. Uh -huh. Everything that he does. He's, he's like my idol. And I shouldn't have him. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sport, I mean, for what he's done in that ring, I mean... Without a doubt, yeah, no as question. A as a professional, of course, I don't care about his personal life. Man, I don't I, care about nobody's personal life. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty much, but I'm in media, so that's what gets the, yeah, the attention. Yeah. But at the end of the day... And I know you're a, uh, you're a Kobe supporter. Yeah. Me, I'm a Lakers fan all day. I, I've been to L.A. twice. I've never lived out there. I've been to New York my whole life. Uh -huh. I'm, a, I'm the biggest Kobe fan there. Kobe's, right. a mother, Kobe's a motherfucking yeah. assassin, man. Yeah. 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 But I wanted to ask you... Yeah, please. Feel free. About J. Cole's album. How, what do you feel about How you doing, Queen? Can I listen to it on the plane for five hours? Uh, <laughs> I only got one. I only got one listen out, out I, of it. Me too. I, I've been listening to it consistently because I fall asleep because I'm in the room. Okay. So I'm in the hotel room, so I listen to three songs. I fall asleep. I listen, but in, in, in terms of what I've heard, dude, this is a fucking renaissance era of hip hop. Jay Z started it. Yeah. He handed it off to Nipsey. Yeah. Nipsey handed it. Or Jake. I mean, or Kendrick. I don't want to interrupt you, but Nipsey Hustle is my favorite rapper, right? Nobody. Dude, I was across the street. The motherfucker was bumping Nipsey in New York. I was like, well, listen, that, I bought the, 
Listen, when it comes to next, um, I'm going to LA next month too. Mm -hmm. I'm going straight to the store. So I'll sneak Yeah, right across from my home. My mom lives right over there. Really? So I'm right around the corner. So hit me. Yeah. Listen. Uh huh. Bro, like Nipsey is like my favorite, and he's just motivational. Nipsey's that. Geez. I don't know if you've ever heard um the song Killer. I listen to that song every morning on the uh, drive to work. I really? drive 20 miles to work uh -huh. from Long Island into. I live in Long Island in a town called Central Island. I live uh -huh. Long Island. I drive from Long Island to Hicksburg. Uh -huh. I listen to that song every morning. It wakes me up every morning. Really? Killer. That's what it's called. Uh -huh. I think it's on. Um, it's not slow song. I can't remember. Name of it, but you gotta listen to Killer uh -huh. every morning. That, okay. that should be the next song that you listen okay. to. Okay, Blue Laces like got me. Laces. I know you like Blue Laces. <laughs> Blue Laces got me. Like Blue Laces. Dedication, Blue Laces. Blue Laces yeah. Oh, Hustle and Motivate. Of course. Because those are in order, yeah, so that's yeah. why I'm listening to. No, and the song with uh, with uh, Diddy. Oh, oh um, Young Niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Nipsey, I'm telling you. Nipsey, that's my favorite rapper. Really? Like, like you said, it's a renaissance era, but I think that the Cole album is really great. Um, I wasn't really, I wasn't really a fan of the damn album, but uh -huh. I feel like it's a me too. A pop I was, album. It was a, the, boom, it was. It was more pop. Pimp, to pimp a butterfly. The great stories. Is the storyteller the beyond. Great, great setup. Mm -hmm. um, Kendrick Lamar is more of a a theatrical rapper. Ah, uh, um, you, you know how uh, Slick Rick yeah. gave you like um, gave you the imagery. Yeah. His yeah. Runs? yeah. That's what Kendrick Lamar does, sure. and then he gives you the. Um, you know the funny tones in his voice. Yeah. He's like very animated. Yeah. That's what Kendrick Lamar is. Uh, but I think the Nipsey album is, is incredible. Perfect album, man. Perfect. Perfect. I, I, Jay's been dropping dimes and all of that uh -huh. stuff. I think his music has gotten more mature. Uh -huh. But that Nipsey album is uh -huh. what we need right now as black uh -huh. men. Brother Polite's behind you. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I have my opinions. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. But I don't think someone who's trying to uplift the black community needs a GoFundMe page. But whatever, I'm not. Uh -huh. He's. I stopped following him. You I know never, what I mean? I never did. That. I stopped following him <laughs> because I like the story. Like black man, come, but now he's more sedity now. Like yeah, listen, listen, I feel like red bottoms. Or I mean. Listen. That shouldn't be the storyline. You can have all that, of but course. that shouldn't be the storyline. Story no. Yes, yes. Listen, like you're the perfect example. Uh huh. Listen, I, I don't want to put anybody's business on uh -huh. there, but you said, shit, I said you had a Bentley, right? Uh huh. And you just bought two Teslas? Yeah. All right, are, are you out here flaunting your Teslas and your Bentleys? <laughs> no, no. No, you showed that you go to the gym, you show you lead the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. If anything, you showed us that you was buying a mansion, right? Mm -hmm. All right, that's what motivates everybody else. I don't want material things that, I'm, that are just going to diminish in a month or so. Yeah. You know, I want that property, I want I want things that are just going to sure. grow sure. over time. But I just think that, you know, it was like, I don't want to sound crazy, but it was like Destiny that when I seen your video there, because uh -huh. I used to watch um, Ellie, uh -huh. I used to watch, I still watch Yeah, Ellie, yeah, because uh, yeah, they're always out in the streets, yeah, they're doing work. Yeah, they're always out, and Ellie uh -huh. does, Ellie He's like, everywhere, what, and he got workers out too, yeah, <laughs> easily 30 videos a day. <laughs> 30 videos a day, fight hype, uh -huh. I don't know how they do it, they got Europe, and uh -huh. over here. yeah. but you, when you, you were speaking to a certain audience, like you were speaking Intentionally. to me. Intentionally, yeah. Intentionally. You were speaking to mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. So when I see you speaking to me, I was just like, wow, this guy, I relate to him so much because this is what I've been searching for. Like, mm -hmm. it's cool that somebody, you know, found somebody around, ask them the goofy questions. If you fought a, a, a bear in Alaska butt <laughs> naked, um, <laughs> who would win? Like, who would fuck ask those uh -huh. stupid questions? Uh -huh. You ask those real questions, those hard questions that I want to hear. Like, uh -huh. And what you seriously asked um, yesterday, was it Mike Stafford? Uh-huh. When you ask him about, do you think that um, this could be like a career-defining moment for uh -huh. Adrian Broner? Uh -huh. And he was like, I really don't want to talk about that now. Mm -hmm. That tells everything. That tells everything. That tells it all. Mm -hmm. yeah. That tells it all. Uh -huh. So right. those are the type of questions that yeah. I want to ask. To be honest, you should be like one of these motherfuckers. Um, what's it, Brian Gumbel? I don't want to have a boss, though. You know me. <laughs> yeah, I don't no, want no, no boss. I, want no bo I turned down the ESPN for a job. I, Listen, I could be and, that used to, and when I was 16, 17, 18, 19 years old, 20 years old, I was like, yo, I'd kill, I'd kill, I'd probably slap my mama to work for ESP. Yeah. And now, just watch someone like you mm -hmm. and seeing what you do, I was like, oh, I don't need them. I don't, oh, need, them. I, I don't need them. YouTube is my ESPN. Yeah. Property's yeah. going to put the steak on the table. My property's going to put my steak on the table. You know what I mean? And, but YouTube is what I really, like, you know what I mean? Like my messages yeah. and wanting to reach out and touch black men all yeah. across the world. Hands down. And the message that you deliver, like I said, I can't tell you enough. The message that you deliver mm -hmm. is is a great one. And for those who have their, their eyes open and their ears open, mm -hmm. um, 
um, they're definitely following me. I don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. I know for me personally, Thank once you. you said that, mm -hmm. by holding yourself accountable, if I cheat a day, uh -huh. I'm like, nah, I gotta put in this work. Yeah. If I don't, if I don't, you know, save money or whatever, I'm gonna be like, yo, what would Fred be doing right save now? Save account. Because all account. of that, like, you gave um, a tip on um, non for profits. Uh -huh. I work for a non for profit. Yeah. When you said that about the non for profits, I was like, that thing can go for you, man. Like, this is why I don't get benefits the way that I'm supposed to because uh -huh. it's somebody who you know for. And it's just, I'm just thankful that you gave that information. Because yeah. there's really people out here that just mm -hmm. run around here like chickens with their head cut. Man, we can do this shit, man. Yeah. Like, I have no doubt in my mind that we all kings and the world's gonna be a better place when we hold each other accountable and, and more importantly, helping one another. Like, yeah. at, at the end of the day, that's why I, uh, I'm so hard on like a person like Adrian Broner because I know his profile. It's not, I swear to God, 80% of the videos after I say Adrian Broner lost, mm -hmm. It's not, I'm not talking to Adrian Brown. No, you're not. I'm not, but people say, you talk, I, you no, talk I'm using Adrian Brown, that's, that's the no. candy. And the people that do that shit, uh -huh. they're the ones that's acting like Adrian Brown. Yeah. You're acting like sensitive bitches. Uh, <laughs> the the medicine's in the video, just pay attention. Yeah, it uh -huh. is, it's right yeah. there. Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying, like when you spoke to them, when you said Adrian Brown does not hold himself accountable, he's doing X, Y, and Z, I was like, damn, I'm the same way. I'm just like this guy, I'm the same age as AD. And I used to look at him and I used to be like, oh, AB's doing it this way. He's doing it. I need to be more like that. And then I like retrace myself, and then I see him like not taking his like it's a blessing for him to even be in this position. And you out here doing everything else but worrying about your your actual job, you're talking about you got an ab and it's nothing like, like mm -hmm. you're taking it for granted. Mm -hmm. And he, I think now he sees that you know he's not he's not Floyd. He's not Floyd at all. But it might be too. Yeah. It might be too late. It might be too late. It might be too, it might be too, much, too much water in the basement. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, it might be too late. Yeah. We're going to find out tonight. We're going to find out a but, lot tonight. But what has it been? Two months? Um, Because I, I don't really be on Snapchat like that. But it's been two months since I've seen him. Or since I haven't seen him in the club, really. Uh -huh. I don't know if two months is really enough to get him in line to where he needs to be at the level that he's supposed to be at. Mm -hmm. So if he loses now, like, and it's unfortunate because if he loses now, his career might just be, like you said, he's a gatekeeper. A gatekeeper. And he would have to have like an incredible win streak in order to be even considered what he's he not disciplined enough to have that win yeah, streak. Yeah, he's not. He's not. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Signing off. Signing off. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll, listen, I told I told myself I wasn't gonna. Uh, purchase um, in your corner uh -huh. until I met you. Oh, really? Now that I met you, ah. I'm definitely going to purchase it. I appreciate you, King. Thank you, King. One love, man. Appreciate you, King. Yeah, for real. Yeah.